Welcome back to Final Fantasy 15. We're still going through. Zegnatus keep here. Just keeps going on and on. Been at it for two plus hours in this place. All right, but I think we're finally at the end here. The real. Oh wow, they don't give. Damn! They're not letting me do, uh. Chapter verse. Chapter 13, verse 2. Usually, wherever there's a resting place, I, I can go and do it, but not here. And this is the actual end of the. This is the actual not end. Not so of the tough without your borrowed oh, toys. Yeah. Are oh, you? You've already said that. Yeah, see, this is where, once you finish chapter 13, verse 2, this is where the game puts you. And that's some horse shit. They're not gonna let me do chapter 13, verse 2 in this area. Why not? Because I would actually like to do all of Noctis's, <laughs> all of Noctis's point of view before I do it, and the game just wants to be an asshole. I, I don't, I, every other resting place uh, I've come across has had the uh, the markers to let me do first two, but all of a sudden this area doesn't. What the fuck? Poor shit. Wall breaker wave test report. The wave produced Exceptional results in real world conditions effectively inhibiting the King's Glaive's warping and spellcasting abilities, powers that operate on the self same principle as the War of Lucis. Wall breaker wave test report. The report concludes that the wave can neutralize not only the wall, but all magical phenomena exhibited by Lucian royalty. Moreover, based on the data acquired from the encounter with Shiva, an enfeebling effect on the six can also be anticipated. Another thing is the game won't let me save right here for some reason.
I'm not sure what they're talking about with the wave and the wall. I'm not, I'm not sure what what that all is. So I guess the wave is just some kind of force field they found that can render uh, the Lucian royal family powerless. Kind of the same way like the wall was a force field around uh, Insomnia, or at least the castle, for protection. Something like that. Wall breaker wave. In case there was any doubt, it's a trap. A little pay and never hurt anyone. On you go. Hurry, while you dawdle, people are dying. Ah, I've really gone and done it now. No, not you. No. Claudia! Where are you? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Nox in trouble! Got him! There ought to be a kill switch nearby! Find it! Well, how do you know that? I believe... It's the reason we were brought here. My buddies. That was close. The hell did you get here? You're welcome. Thanks. After we were separated, we received help. From the mm. usual suspect. That bastard's playing with us. But at least we're together. All but one of us. Reunited with your retainers at last. How very touching. Must be a fine feeling, having friends. Look how happy you are. So yeah, I guess I'm not gonna do chapter I 13 first two again. Deal. Prompto soon. Research log. It is with regret that I hereby suspend my plans to restore the mag this Magitech weapon to full functionality. The spineless powers that be fear further incidents, and my efforts to activate and control the device were futile, it seems. If it is some sort of autonomous armament, the only divine intervention could bring the mech back online. Then only divine intervention could bring the mech back online. Until that time comes, however, the until that time comes, however, the device shall remain sealed. Is that is all this talking about the uh, the big worm machine? 
in episode pronto. I feel that's what it's talking about. Side. <laughs> go. I knew you'd go that way. Pronto, how the fuck did you end up like this, my boy? I can only assume Arden is behind it all. I mean, obviously. He done snuck up on my boy and they, chained him up. You are, right. are you hot? Do you need probably licked his booty hole. I I'm fine. <clears throat> did he touch you, Pronto? Thank you. Knocked. No sweat. Tell me. Were you worried about me? Yeah. God. I kinda, I'm so curious to see. Of course I was. What kind of question is that? He said not really. Of course. That's why you came. Like I believed you would. Pronto. That's why I told myself I couldn't die. Not until I could see you. And hear you tell me I'm not a fake. That I'm the real me. I'm sorry. Don't be. Everything's alright now. some weird dialogue there at the end he was like ah oh, tell it's for you to tell me I'm not a fake I'm the real me and then Noctis is just like I'm sorry and then it ends some reason it, it would have worked out so perfectly I could have saved right here I could have done chapter 13 verse 2 knocked 
you hear that? She won't understand. I've heard this sound before. On the train, just before your weapons failed you. It's nearby. And it may hold the key to restoring your power. It's here. This thing? Door's locked. That's coming from within. Is there no way through? There's a way. So, MTs, they've got those code prints. Just like I do. Do they? Never looked. Yeah. So, as it turns out, I'm one of them. Not exactly something I could tell people growing up in Lucis. Still, you guys are like the only friends I've ever known. I just hope that things can stay the way they were. Whatever. Who cares where you were born? I don't see you turning against us. Not now, or ever. Thanks, guys. Still... I can't change where I came from. What I am. Since when does where you come from matter to you? Hmm? You never once treated me as a prince. <laughs> it's got you there. Never so much as a highness. We're done here. Come on, crown citizen. You're one of us, right? Unless you'd rather not be. See, I just do not feel like they did a good job explaining all of that and what Prompto is in the base game. Definitely not in cutscenes. I guess maybe some of the reports you can find help explain the situation a little bit better. I'm sorry. I'm an, I'm an average dude. I'm an average dummy. And uh, maybe that's why I don't feel like the, the base game explained it well enough. But I'm sorry. I just don't think the base game explained it well enough. Because they were trying to fucking save it. For DLC. I don't know. You know... If you want to have stuff for DLC, that's one thing, but at least make the base game feel complete without the DLC. You know what I'm saying? Kingdom Hearts 3 did a better job than this, in all honesty. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think Remind did help the game. But Kingdom Hearts 3's story, and what happened in it, nothing felt incomplete for the most part maybe a little bit at the end okay yeah yep yeah. Kingdom Hearts 3 had some questionable things happen at the end that Remind helped touched on but it's all in all not, not as bad as this uh, I'm, I'm about to use an example I, I really don't have a good right to use because I haven't played the DLC for this yet but Final Fantasy 7 Remake doesn't it feels like a complete game it, it feels like there's nothing missing there's no context missing it, it feels like they didn't really leave it, anything out in the base game that did have some DLC uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake Integrate Where do you get to play as Jiffy and get to see her perspective of Of what happens in 7 Remake and stuff. Like I said, I haven't played it yet But uh, that's something I'm assuming Is not uh not shitty in any way. It's 
far as in it has stuff in it that could have been in the, in the base game and help you understand things better in the base game. Yeah. There's the Emperor's clothes where he turned into a demon. Like an another thing, like I don't think they're gonna touch on the fact that that demon showing up is the Emperor. You're probably not gonna see anything else about the Emperor. It's just his clothes here. Suggests that he did turn into a demon as well, but you don't know what exactly. You don't know how exactly. It's just stuff that you see in DLC stuff. Uh, chapter 13, verse 2, that helps better explain something in the game. It just, it just seems a little egregious, doesn't it? Like, there's just so much stuff that just feels left out in the base game. Just to give you more of a, a reason, more of a want to buy their DLC. It's just a little egregious. It's not. I don't know. A little egregious can be enough, though. It really does feel like there is some purpose here that, hey, we gotta make this DLC uh, and so entice it enough. Let's did it work? With the device down. Let's purposely out. not have. Fox power should be up and running. Stuff in the base game that we should. Alright. Moment of truth. <laughs> Oh! We're back, baby. Oh, Good game. What a relief. <laughs> Let's roll. With all his powers restored, Noctis can once again travel to the pass by calling Umbra at dormitories. I've never used this before. Quick our recipe. Does lower his uh, spirit by the tiniest bit. Got 
a rugged attire. Ooh, look at that sexy dude. I'm gay now. Psych -naw. Yeah, that one's for the ladies. And for the gays, too. Can't forget about them. And the boys, and anybody that's just into big muscular men. Alright, I'm talking too much about this. Still can't save. You again, new friend? Really need to pick up. experience again for uh, defeating enemies no choice really you know somebody here's got to fight to rescue the crystal not to mention rescue all of your asses spoken like a true king <laughs> about time the ring represents a great burden but you don't bear it alone you can say that again especially now that y'all have your weapons back that machine like take away our weapons and stuff exactly I guess it's the wave I, I guess this is the wave but Um, where am I? Okay.
feel for things, Ignis. Feeling my... Way around. Yeah, honestly, that scene with uh, Noctis and everybody accepting Pronto for what he is, you know, that hits so much harder watching the playing uh, episode Pronto. Hopefully, Biggs and Wedge both made it to safety. Who and who? Our train drivers. And soldiers. They can fend for themselves. Let's get on with it. So, where'd you guys park the regalia? Outside, though park ain't the right word. She's broken down, alas. Took one for us. Saved our lives. Now then, the crystal. I'm guessing the way is locked. Well, I guess it's a good thing somebody has keys to the whole fortress. You're no better than a burglar. Aren't I? Where's that elevator? game now it's telling us this thing is the Emperor but this is kind of a lame way to do it like it was it was done in a cooler way in chapter 13 verse 2 
to take an interest with the, the demon of the emperors. Uh, funny to me. Alright. I got him once, that's good enough. Can't do regroup with bigness. See what we came for. Rip. Yeah, I guess the roles of the Emperor and uh, Arden in this game is kind of similar to the roles of uh, Emperor Gasol and Kefka in Final Fantasy VI. I can save now. Fuck it, I'm gonna save. Cause it's been a while since I've done so. I'm gonna rest too. No, I don't need to. Just in case. Showtime. Let's hope it's not a tragedy. Just in case my uh I don't need to absorb my experience. I'm assuming that my experience is going to absorb when the chapter ends, but uh, just in case it does, I'm, I'm going to keep it. Because I'd rather, I'd obviously rather One get a hotel that can give me double or triple experience. Look at all this space. So the central elevator's through here, and out of the loading bay. Your Majesty, your precious crystal awaits you. To liven things up, I thought I'd take you on a stroll down memory lane. Of course, memories decay with time. Here we go.
Let's go, bro. Uh, Okie dokie. actually had the final blood. I was trying to finish him off with the ring because I, th I thought that would be a fitting way to, to the end up. end for the High Commander. For anyone. He was a man with hopes and dreams. Ugh. It's horrible. What kind of fiend makes demons of men? <gasps> Look alive! Company!
you suppose your dear friends are still alive? Those who died for you, do you ever wonder what went through their minds? Can you even recall their final words? I'll come back for you all. I swear. How far does this go? The crystal had better be here. Everyone's counting on it. Counting on me. Your journey is over, Noct. I gave you my name earlier, but you should know that it was my name given to me at birth. Arden Lucis Kylum is my proper name. You'll never guess whose name this one here was. Killing this mortal will bring me strength of satisfaction. Declaring my crystal's power, arise as its champion. Only once the crystal and the king are known. Thank God I had so subtitles on, because I could not fucking hear anything he was saying hardly with Noctis screaming in agony. Fate of this world falls to the King of Kings. His 
providence consecrated in the divine light of the crystal. So it is ordained the revelation of the heart. The heart of the crystal, wherein lies the soul of the star. And it is in this place that the king will gain the power to fulfill his calling. the darkness and abide in hope. Sustained by faith unfaltering that the king shall arise and bring deliverance. By the covenants awakened, the six have seen the coming of the prophesied hour. A time when the crystal shall have shed the entirety of its light unto the ring. Only then, once the sacred ring is replete, can the true king complete his ascension. And only by the true king's hand can the immortal accursed be banished and the light restored to this world. A man cursed with life eternal whose immortality stems from the self-same scourge that wrought the demons. One so impure of body and soul was deemed unworthy of the crystal's light and forbidden to ascend. His mind twisted by spite and bent on revenge, the usurper came to bring darkness down upon our world. Only the true king Chosen by the crystal and guarded by his forebears can end the accursed madness. It is the sole means to ending the immortal accursed. A power greater than even that of the six Purifying all by the light of the crystal and the glaives of rulers past. Only at the throne can the chosen receive it, and only at the cost of a life his own. The King of Kings shall be granted the power to banish the darkness, but the blood price must be paid. To cast out the usurper and usher in dawn's light will cost the life of the chosen. Many sacrificed all for the king, so must the king sacrifice himself for all. Now enter into reflection, let the light of providence shine within.
Angel Guard, the place. The place in, on the uh, island when we, when we were riding, driving that boat outside Altitia. Remember that? I'm proper. This is where we are now. Be waiting. And hammerhead. I wonder if that was said. Who wrote that? Kind of. I know it was only four words total, but it sounds like something Sid would say. Yep, and there's the experience given to me. Noctis leaves his prison to find himself on Angel Guard. His father's ship is moored at shore, none the worse for wear. It now carries him back to Golden Key, back to his kingdom. Why was his father's ship there, exactly? Why and how was it there? Also, Angel Guard, I don't, in the base game. Long was I out. Vanilla base game. I don't think, is Angel Guard ever mentioned at all? World of Ruin. Where'd everybody go? I'm going back to the title screen because I think next time we will do episode Arden. I think this is a the perfect spot to, to do that. We basically have learned everything about Arden at this point. There's not much game left in the in the base game. So yeah, I think this is the perfect time to do episode Arden. And that's what we'll do next time. Until then. <laughs>